Okay. So on the player one side, we got Spodius. He's playing Caesar in the red versus Disobeyed, playing Valder in the black. And not often we get to see Valder getting played. Uh, that is actually a pretty rare. One second, I think the overlay just bugged out for a moment there. A quick refresh. Okay, there we go. Sorry about that. Yeah, they're playing on Ashen Meadows, so... A map we haven't seen too much of. This is, I think, April. TYM is the first time it's ever really been in an event, so... We get to see, you know, how this is going to play out. And so far... A lot of aggression coming out. Uh, as far as, like, things moving across the center. These swords grabbing these villages. And... This interaction I've seen in a previous replay, but the village had been given an extra turn to heal. And I am curious if that is going to be the case on both sides. Falder actually going to be aggressive towards the center, not going to go for the knockdown on this village. I don't know if Falder could actually even knock it down, so maybe there's some turn order advantage coming into play there. But either way... Valder setting up to knock down this village afterwards, I think. And Caesar. Just gonna keep hitting villages. Gonna build up quite a lot of groove. 69% groove. And 72 at the end there. And we have Disobeyed, who's gonna be able to knock down this village at 84%, I believe, right now. Yep. And yeah, just gonna take the center while leaving the sides to Caesar. And the one thing I notice about Ashen is like, sure, there's a bunch of contested villages. They're quite spread out though. And there's not a huge amount of terrain in the center. So it could be a bit difficult to kind of posture to move up. But that said, Jesus is being very brave here. Just gonna go heavily damage the sword. And I think I should get very close to having Groove. swords and a dog to back it up. And now Valder not feeling quite as brave, although I actually do think Valder could have been aggressive there. Decides not to. And now we're going to see ooh, a lot of damage coming in on Caesar. And a full surround too. That said, this sword can die. There's like a couple units here that can kill it. And, you know, heal on the village is obviously an option. There we go, Caesar's back up to full, and now, with the knight to back it up, there is a mage nearby that can heal Caesar too, so... An option is available. Ooh, and valder has got tier 1. Actually, a really long charge time to get tier 1. Caesar got tier 1 about the same time as Valder here. And, yeah, once Valder gets tier 2, that's when he gets very scary. But he has to get there first. Ooh, doing some good damage to those knights, you know. Being in the forest, attacking something on the road, yeah, that's going to be how that goes. But will Valder have enough of an army left to actually benefit from, you know, the tier 2 groove? Obviously, just the two swords he spawns are probably going to be more than enough, but you never know. Yeah, this mage is going to move into position to counteract that dragon. If it really comes down to it, you can groove the mage to kill the dragon, but obviously that is not ideal. And here we see spears coming out, balloon, there's a harpy in the back there as well, and yeah, Caesar's just building up more units that will work with him. And there's this interesting thing I've noticed as far as the meta going, is that Caesar's really strong obviously, but the later the game goes, the more it becomes about expensive units and less about infantry. So there's like this really strong peak in strength for Caesar, where he can benefit a lot from like the kind of early game infantry and the it's like mid game infantry too, but really struggles after that point once we get like more stuff like golems coming out. And actually, I think this might be the game ending right now. Alder is standing next to a road, there's a lot of stuff nearby. We're gonna see an inspire as a tier one, 
Is this gonna be game? All right, knight goes down. A knight crit from above, mage crit from the side. Yeah, that's game. There's two more sides as well. Of all, they're going way too far forward there. And I was criticizing being a bit too a bit under aggressive earlier, but in this case, yeah, you're looking at what 27% health here. There's like two more units that can attack. Yeah, dog and mage. Mage should finish at this point. Oh, there's an entire dog's worth of damage left after that point. And Spodius is going to take it with Caesar. And not much else to say. Really nice tier 1 groove there from Caesar. Valdar just didn't get the chance to use the tier 2 groove. And that is a way to deal with Valdar, right? You just kill him before he gets his like super powerful ability. And in the case of Caesar, and it's funny because it's actually kind of how you kill Caesar as well. Like you make sure Caesar doesn't have an army to fight with. And in this case, just, you know, there wasn't really much to fight with. Uh, in the case of Valder, and Caesar just had enough infantry nearby. Nice use of the mage as well. Built it to deal with the dragon, obviously. But was able to then get a crit on it at the end.